Hey everybody, Innocent here, and today I'm back with another church flyer design. The other time we looked at how to make a church flyer, but it was all test. This time around, we're looking at how to add pictures when you're designing a flyer in Photoshop. I'll put a link to the first video in the description if you want to check it out. Without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Before we dive into the video, please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bells. And as usual, all the links to the items and the resources that I will be using will be up in the link in the description to a Google Drive that you can download almost all of these resources. And then also this time around, there is a GoFundMe account that you can use to support this channel if you really want to see this channel growing and new things coming up so let's go into photoshop and let's get started now we're going to create a new document if you are using cc that is you're going to take a new approach but then we're going to create an 8 3 size document over here and then you're going to click ok so once you've created the document like this what you have to do is you go to the solid color and then i'm going to add a solid color and this is the color that i'll be using so i have it right over here and then i'll click ok now i would want to add a rectangle to this but then i'm going to change the color here so i'll press on x on my keyboard then it's going to switch between the account so what i'll do is i'll go for my rectangle tool and then i'll draw a nice rectangle over here i don't want it all that big but then i want it around here so i right click on the rectangle and then go to rasterize layer now i want to give this rectangle a very smooth blend with that of my background so i'll pick my eraser tool and then i'm going to brush it off a little bit like that but the hardness would have to be zero and then i'm going to brush this area a little bit like that just to give this a very smooth blend with the background just like that and then i'll click ok next off I'm going into my resources and I'm going to bring in this gray background that I have over here. Now I just put it on top over here and then I, I, I want this particular side. So I'll just open it up like that. And then I'm going to set this one to soft light so that it blends with the background very nicely. I right click and rasterize the layer and then I'm going to decrease the opacity a little bit. So you can place it up over here. And then just like i was saying i need this particular side so i'll decrease the resolution a little bit more and then i'm going to add a layer max to this pick my brush tool and i'm going to brush the top over here so that it blends smoothly with the background next off i'm going to add a new layer today so we are developing the background for this particular one so i'll add a new layer and then i'm going to select a pink light color something a bit pink like that and then i'll choose my brush to open it up to be a little bigger and make sure that the, the hardness is still zero percent so a little bigger like this and then i'm going to do a one stroke brush over here to give it that sort of lighting over there i'll press ctrl a and make sure that it is centerized like that and that's pretty much it now let me go back to my resources and bring in my worship background over here so i'm going to open that one up and then i'll bring it up on top over here right click and rasterize it and then i'll set that one to to overlay so it is going to blend with the background like that so you might choose to open it up a little bit like this and then we'll add a layer max to it select the brush and then we're going to brush it off a little bit like that so that it wouldn't be all that very solid so that is it and then you are good to go so this is going to be a background for the whole project so we're going to hold shift and then select this one over here and then we group that and we're going to name that our background so moving on i'm just going to decrease this to about 74 percent so that it wouldn't be that very very deep okay so i'm going ahead to add my heading to it that is the worship night 
that is the main test so i'm going over to select my test tool you can use any test that you want but then the color would have to be white and then i'm going to add here the methodist church scanner i'm using the methodist church scanner because i'm a methodist so i'm just going to maintain acrobat and then i'm going to make sure it is a bold over here and then i'll press ctrl a and then i will center it press ctrl t to resize it and then i can send it on top over here i'll right click and then go to the blending options and then i'll drop a shadow over here so i'll i'll increase the shadow a little bit like that and then i can press ctrl j to duplicate it bring it down and then i'm going to edit that one to youth fellowship so i'll just like to maintain the youth fellowship because we are not doing this as a full program you know so let me just use the semi bold over here and then i'll increase it out just like that now with that i'm going to right click and then i'm going to clear off the layer style because i want it to be a bit brightening so this is how it looks like when you open it up the more so that is it the next one that i'm going to add is the main team so i'll duplicate this one again and then i'll bring it over here but then i'm going to change this one the font to railway now the railway links to all these will be in the description so you can check them out now i'm going to use the same bold italic or the bold italic either of them extra bold italic but the one that is going to be big enough for people to see so instead of writing the worship and separating it i'm just going to write raw like this in caps and then i'll hit enter and then write the second one like shit so i'll press ctrl a and because my leading is be as uh, small i have to open it up like this and then i'm going to open it up like that also you know so this is it and then i want to make this one more bold so black bold italic okay so the black bold italic and then let me increase decrease this one a little bit like this so that will be close and then i'll increase this one instead so something like this you just have to take your time and then i'll press ctrl a and centerize it okay so moving on i'm going to duplicate this one and then i'm going to turn off this one and then i'm going to change this particular color to anything like black something a color that would be underneath of this one now i will turn on the color that i duplicated and then i will shift the black color to one side like this so you can see i have it over here and then i'll make a duplicate again and i'm going to right click and go to the blending options before then i have to turn this one off so you can see this one clearly so i go to the blending options and i go to bevel and emboss and then i'm going to change this one to any one of these but then i actually prefer this one yes this one would do and then i'll click ok so from there I'll turn on my main worship copy and then I'm going to right click on that also and go to the blending options and then I'll add a gradient to it the gradient I'm going to choose this particular normal one so this one and then I'll click OK and then I'm going to reduce the opacity a little bit so it wouldn't be that very dark but then it wouldn't be whitish also so that is it and then I'll add a bevel and emboss to this one also and that one is also going to take another contour over there so that's basically it i'll click ok and i'll turn off this one so if you zoom in like this this is what we are having okay so moving on we're going to add the night to it but then we're going to use this font called crinkers it will also be in the description okay so i'm going to type in my night right over here and then i'll change my color to the main color that we are using and then i'll send it on top of the worship so i'll increase it up a little bit like this to make sure that it blends with that right over there so i'll right click and go to the blending options and i'm going to add a stroke to this so i'm going to add a white stroke to that so that you can see it differently from that of the main worship 
background over there but then i would want to select my worships and then i'll try to open it up a little bit let me know in the comment section which one do you prefer between this and that either it is this small or either i enlarge it small like this but that's pretty much it let's group this test and then we're going to rename that also to tests so once we are done with that so let's go ahead and add one more test over here and let's go back to railway and that is going to be uh, medium italic and then i'll write a theme over here so you change the color to white and then you type in your theme right over there so let's use this i will bless the lord and then the scripture is going to be psalm 34 verse 1 okay so we're going to change the scripture to acrobat and then we're going to make sure that this isn't all that big so we we'll just try to position it right over here now the tests are ready we are done with the test very soon we're going to add more tests to this so the next one that we're going to add is the pictures so when it comes to my resources over here i have my pictures right over here and the first one that i'll add is that of their pictures the main performance over here so i'll bring my pictures over here and then i'm going to have to do a couple of stuffs to the picture so i'll hold control and then select the picture and then i'll press control i and then shift and then i'm going to select any of the lasso tools go to refine edge and then i would have to refine the edges of my pictures so i'm going to input in a couple of figures and then i'm going to press on the delete button a couple of times so it is going to clear off these areas for me okay so um the refine edge alone couldn't help me so i would have to add a layer max to this and then i'm going to decrease my brush size and then i'll just brush off the edges of his hair i think you can just take time to do this because i don't want to keep the tutorial very long but then you can just brush off all the areas that you don't want with the help of the layer mask let's move ahead to something else i think with pictures and everything you can work on it if you don't know how to work on pictures and refine the edges i'll put a link in the description and on top of the youtube card over there so you can go and check out how to refine your picture edges so that is it this is the first image that you're going to use so i'll place it nicely over here and then i'll move on to another pictures right over there but what i did was because the pictures has already they already have nice backgrounds they were taking photo shoots so it, i didn't bother to change the backgrounds so instead i employed a strategy of using the rectangles to help me so i'm going to create about three rectangles over here depends on the number of pictures that you have so i have like one over here and then i'm going to duplicate this one by pressing ctrl j one over there and the another one over there by duplicating okay so i'll hold shift and then make sure that i drag it on the same line like that okay so i'll select the three rectangles and then i'm going to close it up a little bit to make sure that it is here but then the distance here is a bit bigger so i'm going to push it up or close it up like that so i can just bring them over here nicely like that okay okay so i go to my pictures over here and then i'll bring the first one so i'll select the first rectangle so this is the first rectangle this one and then i'll go to the resources and i'll bring the image right inside of the rectangle now what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click rasterize and then right click and create a clipping mask so that this particular picture is going to straight inside of the rectangle that we created but this is because the background is already nice i did not mean the case i would have or there will be the need for me to change the background so you have to look at the options that will be better for you 
So I'll press Ctrl Shift and then I to edit this one a little bit. And then I'm going to press Ctrl L to add some couple of levels. That depends on your picture. So you just have to work on them. I'll do the same thing for the rest of the rectangle. So I'll select the second one, go to the pictures, and then I'll drag this inside. And then I'm going to right click, rasterize, and then create a clipping mask over there. So let me try and then squeeze this one or transform it and then i'll put it over here so very nice like that this picture is already nice so i'm not going to do anything to it so i go to the third one and then i will do the same thing for mr man over here mr man with a nice smiling over there so i'll just right click and create a clipping mask and then i'll resize or rasterize it and then i'll bring it over here so once i'm done with this i would have to add their names to it already okay so i want to capture everything in the pictures also so i'll select my rectangle to still and then come to this one and then i'm going to draw the rectangle over here then right click and then i'm going to create a clipping mask and then i'm going to double click on it to change the color but then i'm picking the color from the picture over here so it makes it blend that is one aspect of picking colors when you are designing a flyer if you don't have any other option you just go for the pictures or the color in the pictures that you are using so i'll click on ok and then i'll duplicate this test send it over on top here and then i'm going to create a clipping mask so i'll bring it over here so you can see that it fits straight into that place and then i'll pick this one also from here let's go for something from this nice one there so we just pick a color from that particular image and then we do the same thing for the last one and right click and then drag it over to this side and then i'm going to double click on it and then i'm going to pick the color right from here but then i want something that is a bit darker so okay so i can go for this one and then go for the darker one to make it blend something like that but something that is very nice okay so i can select the three of these and then bring it up a little bit so that their names will be able to go there now i'm going to quickly add their names to this this can either go to the test over here okay so we, we, we select the test and then i'm going to add the names over here so let's assume that this is going to be um first name and then i would like to use acro um, railway for that so i'm going to select the semi bold and then i'll bring it over here but since the test is beneath it that is why it has to go on top of the ones that we are just working on so first name will be here i don't want to bring their names because this is just a tutorial so i'll do i'll duplicate it and then i'll write this one to second name and then if you want you just resize it and then this one is going to be the third name so right over there so you basically insert the names over there okay so that is it and these are the pictures very nicely built over there and the next thing that we're going to add is the venue the date and then the location so i've got the thing over here also this right over here i'm going to open the date time and then the location over there so these are the three things so i'll just quickly drag and drop them over here i had to do that because it saves so much time but then you can do it one by one if you want to so right over there and then i'm going to put it like that so try to open it up like that and then try to transform it decrease it up also like that now we're going to add the venue this is for the date the location and then the time so the next stuff that we're going to add would have to be the test so we're going to pick the test tool and then we're going to write so this is for the date the location and then the time it's 
so basically that is it you add your test and then you can group these ones to be smaller a little bit like that and then you drag it over to the side to make sure that it's so, sort of in alignment with the pictures but then i added this nice small rectangle you can add it also and then you change the color to white it makes the design a bit good looks good let me know why you think do you think that this one makes the design look look good or you should just take it off so that is it we are almost done with this particular flyer design you have your pictures you have your test you have everything that is supposed to be in place the last one that we're going to add would have to be the effect and that will be the lens flares that changes everything it makes the design looks very popping right over there so we're going to group all this because it is part of the pictures and everything i'm just going to group these ones the whole of them and then i'm going to name this one also pictures and test because it's pictures rectangles and test so what we're going to add finally would have to be the lens flares and then we have the lens flares right over here so the first one would have to be this one so you drag and drop it inside of your photoshop and then i'm going to open it up like that right click and then right click and rasterize so i'm going to change the blend mode to screen right over here and then i'm going to position this one over there so i'll go to my filter blur and then gaussian blur and then i'm going to blur this out a little bit to make it look very nicer like that so if you're able to work on your picture very well this picture will be in the link in the description so you download it if you're able to work on it well you should have the edges here look very nice and very popping okay so you can actually leave it like this but then additionally you can press ctrl u to give it a different color from the hue and saturation if you want to make it blue like this you can go ahead but then if you want to make it a bit pink or red also like this you can go ahead but then let's maintain the main one over there and then you can also duplicate it to make it more you know more brightening or stuff like that but then let's maintain it like this one right over here and then the next one would have to be the images from this side it is also a lens flare all of these will be in the description a link to it to download them will be in the description so you right click and then you rasterize go to your screen and then that is it you can also open it up like that and then you have it over here so you make sure that it can be red but at the same time it gives it a very popping and a nice color and then you go to the filter blur and gaussian blur to make it a little bit like that so that it wouldn't be that very much seen or the effect will be very much pretty much very solid over there so that is it i added a couple of stuff like the guitar bass guitar over here why you can put that in the um at the background so i can just go and bring that one inside of the background that is the more reason why if you group your works it makes this design very simple and very nice so i'm going to set that one to screen and then it will be at the background very nicely like that and then what i also added was the mic but then this time around i'm not adding it you can just add it in any place that you want i hope you grasp the idea or the concept the final thing would have to be the test i, su I was supposed to add this particular test over here so it is going right here let me just bring it is is the 19 so 19 over there and the test would have to be hermetica in Sarat one of my favorites and then i'm just going to close it up like that and then bring it on top of this so i'm going to open it up and then the color that i'm going to give to it would be this particular color so i'll paste it up over there and then click ok and then i'll go to the blending option and then i'm going to add a gradient overlay to it i've already set the gradient so it is right over here 
and then i'll click ok and then i'm going to make sure that i decrease this one a little bit or perhaps i change this color or the blending mode to the linear band over there and then i'm going to drop a shadow to it like that so you can make it big or small either of them but then i'm going to reduce the opacity of the gradient overlay so that it wouldn't be that very big or something like that you can actually go on and on and add a lot of things to this flyer but i think this is it that the few things that you need to know let me know about your thoughts about this video i'll be doing a lot more of flyers like this if you like the video i have a couple of tutorials very simple that i've taken my time to explain things for you i'll put a link to them in the description you can check them out also and then subscribe to the channel if this was helpful you can head over to the description i have a link to a gofundme account you can donate to support the channel so that a lot more content will be we need to update the gear so you can support the channel by donating to the gofundme account and then subscribe share this video a lot more people might be in need of the video that's basically it thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget also to add your logo anytime you design because i almost forgot this one so i'll put it over here but then that is it thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one it's innocent here and bye